Good morning, uh, 4th of uh, February 21. Disruptive competitor. Candina has a huge experience uh, since 1899. Young uh, boy, Captain Antonio, uh, orphan from father, started saying, I want to be a maritime officer. And when you look at the horizon, horizon looks to you, please note this, it's very important to always look broad and it's very good for the eyes, plus the brain, plus plus. And uh, this is what I love, the sea. And the disruptive competitor is, for example, when we have Tesla. Tesla is disrupting in three areas. Then one is the battery, ecological, environmental. Then, of course, it is better to walk. It's very good to get the weight loss. Then we have this uh, autopilot computer system that uh, you can just uh, uh, have uh, communications, Wi-Fi in the, in the car. And also the electricity plug-in, it is produced by Tesla, so it is free in some cases, but uh, this is three uh, disruptions that it is all in one. So no other competitor can, with, with these three fins, uh, get even close to. If we add, add the, the uh, database uh, volume, then we have a fourth one. And this fourth one is the dynamic data compound intrinsic value as uh, Mr. Warren Buffett so famously it has taught us. Thank you very much Warren for teaching us and thank you very much Elon for teaching us. And competitive disruption I made in surfing. In 1985 I was local champion Bakio Beach. Everybody was competing with two fins four fins, and I happened to see three fins, thrusters, we call them in surfing. So I bought this one in Brazil, because I happened to be there, and I was watching, and this was a competitive advantage. So I went to the tournament, and of course, I won the tournament in 1985. In 1986, I was second position, because I had to uh, yes, and anyway, back to the competitive advantage. Therefore, if everybody was with four fins, uh, uh, two fins, and then I, I competed with three, of course, next year competition, everybody had only three fins. There was no one around with a two fin uh, surfboard or four fins. Uh, so, uh, this is a competitive advantage. Then, there was other tricks to compete and in, 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 in 2021 throughout these competitive advantages even in longboard I was fourth Spanish uh, in La Coruña because there was very small waves I used to do the helicopter you go with the fins first and then you jump I used to uh, I did not have longboards because I happened to be there just uh, uh, not for the tournament, and uh, so I said, oh, well, I joined. And then I got fourth and I got some free gifts, and uh, it is a competitive advantage because no one knew how to do this helicopter, which you, 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 you uh, paddle with the fins in front, and then the lumber just does like this, you jump, and I have a success ratio of 100%. So, uh, same as Apple telephones, yes, they never fail, and same as Tesla cars. So. This is very important. Obsession, like uh, like Amazon, is a competitive uh, competitive advantage. Obsession for the client, and so there is now many competitors that are like uh, uh, telling us that uh, really they love these videos and they watch these videos. I thank you very much. But I, I believe it is not so easy for you to copy this and to compete in this. I will explain to you why because perhaps you were looking at this competitive advantage of this video, like if you could just do the same. Well, you can try, but as well as many uh, uh, wanted to buy the surfboards, 
I used to surf because then they thought, oh, well, now I'm going to become a very good surfer. And I said, okay, yes, this is the price. There you have it. Good luck. Okay. So this is what I'm saying to you, dear competitor. Now, you must find the CEO to make these videos only about 300, uh, one per day. Please go and find it. Two, this CEO must be owner of 100% of the shares. So it's no good. This uh, Tesla, Amazon, uh, Berkshire. Berkshire is quite close. It's quite close. But uh, still, so 100%. Uh, and uh, this is the competitor uh, point uh, disruptive number two. Then, of course, if you've seen this little thing over here, it must also be a knight. So, if you happen to see a knight that is a business person and is still young age, and perhaps uh, that person was knighted with uh, only uh, 51 years old, uh, which is quite a record. So, perhaps, perhaps this surfboard you're using, you were the first one and the first one to get there. So, it is like four competitive points and then perhaps you also have the best cost structure and perhaps you have also got over 100 years experience and then perhaps you can also speak such a good English as mine is from a uh, Hall University, Hall in Yorkshire. So these are competitive points that you can add up and uh, perhaps you can innovate, perhaps you can reinvest all the profits into the company for the last 40 years Perhaps you continue to innovate in the digital disruption. Perhaps you really uh, study these uh, uh, billionaires, millionaires, business persons because you respect them. Perhaps you don't waste any time with the dark side. Uh, perhaps you try to do for free and uh, explain to new Z and millennials how this world really works and teach them that there is a specific videos and if you want me to make any videos, uh, for free, I will do that. And uh, also, perhaps another competitive area is that you are going to disrupt the public sector. Yes, perhaps they put uh, 250,000 euros fines in my pocket already in 10 years. So I'm going to make them pay, let's say, times uh, 1 billion compounded. Of course, yes. So you can like and subscribe and unite the light. Forget about the dark. You can do this today. I mean, these people will stay, but the dark side will be eliminated. Perhaps it is a competitive advantage. Perhaps the goodwill of the brand would increase so much like it did Microsoft with eliminating these encyclopedias and then also this Google with the maps and for free and or these uh, dictionaries for free. So let's disrupt. Let's have some fun. And let's always try to do the best thing about this disruption of competition. It is that now, many years later, the surfers are much better. So I believe this is the main goal of competition, is that we are trying to live here a better uh, competitive uh, arena for all of us. And uh, so that they probably will do much better job for us. And we can teach them for free the little thing we learn so that they can be even more aggressive competitors than us. So these are the huge competitive advantages that uh, I like to share with you, dear competitor, that you are watching my video. So thank you very much indeed for your time. I am ready to get your CV. If you really want to compete, you can join Candina today. Thank you. Bye.